assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel and for my returning subscribers i'm so sorry i've not been active for a while i needed a personal break and i just have to take one but alhamdulillah i'm back now so i'll try to be more active and if you're just viewing my channel for the first time welcome to my channel and don't forget to tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to be notified when i post a new video so today's video is on how to make all the instant hijab so let's just get started for this tutorial i'm going to be working with 55 inches by 20 inches fabric and i'm using a lycra fabric then i have my pattern paper i'm going to be drafting on my pattern paper first and then transfer it to my fabric so for the pattern paper i have 18 inches by 27 inches so the first thing i'm going to do is to come to the 18 inches point and i'm going to mark 14 inches and that's the maximum you can use if you don't want your whole od to be as wide as mine at the back you can go for 40, 10 to 14 inches depending on what you want then from that point i'm just going to come down by 12 inches after which i'm going to take three inches then then from the 14 inches point i'm just going to make a curve to join the three inches point and then from the 3 inches point, I'm going to make a curve to join the 12 inches point. And then from there, I'm just going to connect it to the down part of the pattern paper. This is this job is quite simple. So I'm just going to connect to the front part of the pattern paper. And yeah, that's just it. So I'll just go ahead and trim it out. After which I'm going to place it on my fabric. And then I'm going to cut out. Then for my fabric, I have 20 inches. And I folded my 55 inches into two already. So I have about 27 inches at that part. So my fabric is folded into two. So I'm just going to place my pattern paper on it. And then I'm going to trace it out. You can just pin it to your fabric. But I don't think I need to. And I'll advise you draft on a pattern paper before drafting on your fabric. But you can do it straight on. So I'm just going to trace that out. And by the way, if you have a tutorial you want me to make, or a video you want me to make, you can just drop it in the comment section. So I'm just going to notch the 12 inches point there. Because I want to make sure that I take note of that point. So I'm just going to notch it. So I'm going to stitch from that open here to the 12 inches point. So for my remaining fabric, I'm just going to cut out my jab cap. This is optional. You might not even include an hijab cap. You can just end the front part of your hijab piece. So for the jab width, I'll just go for 3 inches. And then for the breadth, I'll go for 6 inches. So I'll just trace it out. And then I'm going to notch the midpoint. Then to sew it now, I'll just stitch from that open edge to the 12 inches point and then I'm going to attach my jab cap to my jab piece. So I've stitched that part to the 12 inches point. So I'm just going to open up my jab piece now and the right side will be facing me. So I'll just place the jab cap 
right side facing each other. And I'm going to start painting. So after pinning it all, we will have something like this. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch it. And then I will come to that part and I'll take my head opening. My head circumference is 20, divided by 2 should be 10 inches. But because the fabric is stretchy, so I'll just go for 9 inches. I'll just reduce it a little. So from there, I'm just going to cover up the front part of the jar piece. So I did that already. I joined my jar cover and I fixed the front part. So the last thing I'm going to do is just to fold that open edge twice and just hem it. And you can use your overlocking machine also to overlock it. And that's all about the hijab. So this is just me trying it on. And yeah, for the ninja hijab I'm actually putting on, I have a tutorial on it. I'll drop the link in the description box so you can check it out. And one of the reasons I use 14 inches for my pattern paper is because I want to be able to form two layers. So this is how the hijab should look like after sewing her home. So I hope you find the tutorial helpful. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question, you can just drop it at the comment section. And if you have any suggestion, addition, subtraction, you can just drop it in the comment section also. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video, inshallah. Take care. Bye.